Hey everyone, this is Peter and Lori with Prophetic Watchman 88. Before we get started, please hit like and subscribe. We're trying to beat the YouTube algorithm this time. Really, if you could share it in any other platform, click share and put comments in there. And there's a reason why we're, we're doing that because again, I, I, you'll see. But anyway, please do that. We'd really appreciate that. It helps the Word of God get all over the planet. Here we go. Hi, Lori. Hi. I'm say hi. This is my beautiful bride. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Whew. I yeah. just want to Go say ahead. thanks to everybody who, um, for all your encouraging comments oh, and stuff. It's right. so fun to read through them, and it really you know, is. It, it really feels is. like we got some friends out there. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we got some. We're not completely alone in this world. <laughs> I'm so alone. No, I feel like uh, was it uh, what was it? Which which prophet was it that was like? Isn't there anybody? Oh, else what, what, out here? wasn't that uh, uh, Elijah? Elijah? When, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I have there's nobody else but me. Guys, like, calm down. I got a whole remnant. <laughs> and that's how we're okay. It is. What's the date today? Today's January eleventh. A wonderful, wonderful day to watch. It's a beautiful day to watch. Here's the thing, though. Um, and we'll, I'll get into it in a second, but first, but I just noticed this right here above our heads. Uh, that is the only way that you can donate to this ministry. We want to thank you guys, amazing supporters that you're donating. Uh, if I could be real for a second, so thank you. Um, pretty much all the resources that are coming in or that we can get here and all that stuff are, is going towards food and electricity to keep the lights on. And currently in Northern California in 2024, they raised the prices. So, uh, Electricity is almost like a rent payment. We're freezing and... <laughs> no, uh, stop, 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 stop <laughs> yeah, it. No, no that's what I want to say. I'm like, like, we have to keep our, our electricity down so low, the, the oh, thermostat. Right, 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 right. And here it is like the coldest right. that we've had in a long time. And it's like, you know, I, I just want to tell you guys that now, like a year ago, our um, electricity would have been about 400 bucks for the coldest Probably, right. month. Right, right. Let's say for the highest the bill. Hi it would be like four to five hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. It's um, almost doubled. Easily, easily doubled. In, yeah. in California, and yeah. and we are really, we really don't <laughs> run a lot of electricity. No, no, I'm freezing, right? So I say, hey, hey, should we just put up a couple? She goes, get another blanket. <laughs> But they did. They raised right, the prices right. this year, and um, right. it's just, I know, a lot of people say, well, you guys should leave California, but we don't know where we would go. Right, right, right. We right, don't, right. like, have... Uh, well, here's the thing. Let's, can, we, can I say it like this? Yeah. We, we do not have a release from God. Right, right. Okay, so... Some of you may or may not know, and please, this is not whiny hour. We are filled with God's joy. We are, it's amazing yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. In, in, no, no, but the reality facts, yeah. reality facts, we didn't um, make the number to a uh, two hit <laughs> our mortgage for the last couple months. So, like I said, we're focusing all the resources so that we can be here. Now, God did not release us, so we are going to be right. on this property, <clears throat> in this house, until God removes us. That's right. There we go. Yeah. So, so we're doing, there so, you go. I want to hey, it like that. You know, sometimes um, <laughs> these really horrible laws that they pass kind of benefit you, like squatters' rights <laughs> and things like okay. that. So <laughs> we're just like. <laughs> Let's not get into all of it right now. Thank you very much. But anyway, continue to pray for us. That, it is what it is. So thank you for all of your prayers and your yes, support and everything. Yes, we prayers, most of all. And we thank you. All. We yeah. thank you. Okay, yeah. remember, that last bit, we, we are rejoicing, believe it or not, in all of this, we are rejoicing. It's like... We can't do anything but laugh. Right, right, right there you go. I just there told Pete right before this, I don't have any more cares left. <laughs> I have no I've cares. given them all to God. We casted I, them all out. I just can't, right. I can't like stress out about right. end time living. Right, and that's what it is. And and, and so in saying that, those kinds of things, again, <clears throat> if you've been subscribed to this channel yeah. for a while, you know and understand that we, we, Open it all up, and you see us for real. You see our yeah. heart, you see our emotions. We are and, an open book. Right, and much. guess what? It's okay. That's very scriptural. So, I'm going to try to not do this. And my wife, before we started, she said, you know what? Work on not shaking your head so much back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> She's always coaching me. He gets excited, and his head goes bobbing. Right. I, I, stop right there. Okay, so, point being... Um, we are pointing everyone, the best of our ability, to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes, we want to encourage you guys. Absolutely. Um, 
that's what I felt like the Lord has really called us to on this channel is to encourage you, maybe point some things out that, right. that we see that God is showing us mm -hmm. and and then sharing it. Right. It's like God is like, hey, you guys, look at this. And yeah. we're like, hey, we should share this with right. everybody else. Right. Why not? And, and, and this is one of those kinds of videos. Can I yeah, say that? Yeah, it is. This, we're going to dive right into the scripture. We're Actually, we're going to go, as far as I know, a few layers into the scriptures. And it's beautiful. It's exciting. And it's all about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. um, in saying that, we can only give our part. Just like that. We're going to yeah. give our part. Mm -hmm. And like we say every, hopefully every video. Please, we're submitting this to you guys. All of you who are in Christ, a part of the body of Christ. All of us together, let's take it before God and have him judge it and we judge it together and say, is this of you? Yes or no? And we weed through the things and then we're going to find Christ. I guarantee it. And today, I'm just, I have this overwhelming sense. We are all going to learn together mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, in saying that, uh, last thing, I, uh, last thing before we move, because I have to say this. We may have to hit pause. Okay? We may have to hit pause. <clears throat> and because, here's the thing. The information that God downloaded and showed us, okay, and I'll show you some more examples of what's going on. We, we had this like January 3rd. We were, tr were going to try to get it out. And I'm, I'm just, again, for your prayers, this whole, our tribe had been sick. I Right after that last video, I went down with sickness. Yeah, you could hear it in that last video. Right, and then we're right. kind of congested. Right, and then from that, Lori went, and Lori got, I'm just saying, a lot worse than me. Her mom has it worse than both, but here's my point. <laughs> We tried. And so we're just saying, hey, God, this is your timing. You've healed us now to the point that we can do this video. Yes. So now all of us are going to have some fun, okay? And again, I'm not going to be on double double speed. I'm going to have you a normal human. Adjust your volume. <laughs> Our emotions are all over, but Jesus Christ is in charge. You can try to be normal as much as you like, hon. <laughs> hey, to all of you guys out there, just welcome. i got to say something real quick. This is probably not going to be the short video from the Morenos. Okay, <laughs> this is not going to be that short video. Yeah. There we go. So we're going to have some fun, though, it's baby. It's funny because, like, you know, we had um, stuff planned, and then the longer that we're waiting to make this video, <laughs> yes, yes. the more he gives us. And then it's like, wow, this video is going to be a long one. <laughs> okay, I love that you said that. Okay, so th this is great. So the first part, uh, and I'm, we're going to get into this in a second, but it, it was, uh, let's say we could have probably done that video in about 10 to 15 minutes. And it's, it was like, wow, and it's really cool, right? But then we're sick and we can't do nothing. So I, we're studying, God's downloading all that. And before I know it, God's adding more and more and more and more to the notes and this and that. I'm like, okay, no, I said, Lori, we're going to have to teach this. And it's for all of us. So without any further delay, I because that. I know, I, but I said it in a different way. And <laughs> I, we, we agreed before we started. I am going to let her speak. She may or may not let me speak, but I'm going to get out anyway, and we'll be together. <laughs> she's so beautiful. I love her. She's my partner. I missed her. To be honest, when she's down or I'm down and we're not together, like I told, I miss this person. Okay. Enough about that. Enough gooey. I'm sorry. Gooey, gooey. Okay, okay. Here we go. Let's move on. Where are we? Oh, whoa. Okay, here's what we're doing. Now, of course, the title is, Look, Our Avenger Comes. We're going to, for a second, can we look at this picture as a, in a prophetic way? And is there a message, maybe a little bit, a high-level message that God might be showing us? We got the power! Woo! <laughs> we got the power! Yes! I love it. This, guys, is a prophetic picture of what the body of Christ can look like. The body, the ecclesia, the church. That's what an ecclesia is. The spirit. There you go. Christ-centered Mm -hmm. All of us together, even if we're not physically together, you're going to learn through today. I'm telling you, oh my gosh, you're going to learn Ecclesia. You're going to learn what it's like to, even if you think you're alone in a dark corner somewhere on the planet, all you have is your phone or internet, you are a part of this powerful Ecclesia. So come along with us on this journey. Mm -hmm. That's all I want to say. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. So in this picture, the light, Jesus Christ is the center. We are all phenomenally powerful in the Holy Spirit, and we're going to see that today. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see how our adventure comes. Yes! Okay. Okay. Anything else on this? It reminds me of, I was telling Pete, this picture reminds me of when we come back with Christ Ooh. for the final oh, battle. Oh, there's another end. picture. Ooh. And um, it just, you know, the damage. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> Emotional damage. Guys, we're crazy today. Uh, certifiable. Here we go. Now listen. It's all about Jesus. So let's have it some is. fun. We're going to have it some is. fun. So guys, I'm being, okay, on a serious note, because some people could probably um, 
just like dismiss what we have to say because we might be a little goofy. Mm -hmm. This is you and us in Christ Jesus. Unlimited power. Mm -hmm. And this love. is what, like, like we were talking about, you know. Go ahead. Um, he, uh, thirteenth warrior. Oh uh, yes. When they battle, they back. They put their backs. back to back, and they're training. They're training Antonio <coughs> Banderas, and because he's a scare. But yeah, and and it's like that's what we are to do in the spirit yes. is have each other's backs. Yes. And um, face the enemy because of Christ in us. Yes. He's like. Oh. So powerful. You have more power. Yes. We have more than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> and yeah. seriously. I mean, this is all um a counterfeit. Right, right. It's just a picture. But it's a picture, but a counterfeit gotcha. of what the enemy is saying that they have the kind that kind of power. Right. But really, our power is greater in us than he that That's is. That's in the world. world. Absolutely, absolutely. That's awesome, guys. So get on board. We're, we're going to have some fun. Just fun. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, we're going to see. Look at the um, things falling I know. in the sky. <laughs> this, cool. this is, yeah, this is, this is end time living. Okay, 101. End time living 101. We should have called it that, end time living 101. But more importantly, it's all about Jesus. Here we go. So first, I have to start here. <laughs> Betty from the Netherlands. This is a major shout out from our heart to yeah. yours. This beautiful sister. Okay, in the Netherlands, she, uh, a while back, you know, in another video, she, she gives us sometimes some nuggets. Hey, God was showing me this. What do you think? She gave us this. I, I, she's in the Netherlands, so maybe she sent it January 1st. I got it. We got it January 2nd. It was amazing. Blew me away. It's a part of this. Mm -hmm. But I, we couldn't get it out. And I was so frustrated. I was so frustrated because to me, this is amazing. Now, here's the great thing. God has his own timing. So our part had to be shared today. Mm -hmm. So everything, Betty, that you gave, relevant, on time, amazing, and powerful. And we're going to see. Thank you, see Betty. Thank you, Betty. Yes, Betty, you're just amazing. So like I said, that's the first part, and we're going to get right into this. Um, and of course, there's other people that have sent us stuff and all that, but I just want to let you know that this, she's been waiting for this. So here we go. Bam. We're going to start with this. Now, we did another video before. Mm -hmm. And it was on Psalm 42. Mm -hmm. Would you mind, Lori, please reading this? I'll try. Try to read this for us. All right. As the deer pants for the water bur brook. brook. Sorry. It's okay. Here we go. I just always say water. <clears throat> True. But um, so pants my soul for you, O oh God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Yes. When shall I come and appear before God? Mm. My tears have been my food day and night. Lately, I have to say. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> While they continually say to me, where is your God? <laughs> wow. Right? Yes. And still, we're here. We're still here. Whoa. I got that comment not very long ago. Right, 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 right. But anyway, right, right. when I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Now, we did another video where we went in detail, okay, in two and three. And yes, there's a hidden message in there, but we're, on this, we're not focusing there right now. My point on bringing this up again is, um, the, verse four. Now, because of, if you know us, you know I battled with OCD in the past, and somehow it sprinkled into spirituality, and sometimes I get a spiritual OCD. And so when I believe God is showing me something, I can't let go of that thing until that time, that Kairos moment, has passed. Okay. Well, don't you think it's because of your OCD that you see patterns? Yes. And you, because I beyond a shadow. I don't doubt. always see patterns, but you do. I now see. I, I see patterns in everything. And now here's the thing: focused in Christ, mm -hmm. Christ-centered, by the Holy Spirit, God shows me all these patterns, right. and it's beautiful and it's exciting. And so this is one of those things. So, so in this, we're going to go uh, a little bit more because I, I, I it just. Can I, can I got to share this too? I have to. You shared a little, we shared before. Our, it's like our food has been our, our tears. It's, we've been pouring out before God for different things. Different, not, I don't mean, um, oh God, please help us. No, 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 no. I'm just, 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 and every, just pouring out mm -hmm. our soul yeah. unto God. And, and, and waiting and patiently waiting for him to come and do whatever he's doing. Yeah. And that's been the process for us. So in my OCD part though, guys, see how there's two and three? And I know that God, Jesus Christ, focused us on 23, not just 2023, because 23 also represents Jesus Christ. We, we learned that through many videos. 
But here's my point. I couldn't go to 24. I go, no, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I will not go to 24. <laughs> and guess what? I'm human. I'm not God. And here we sit in 2024. Now, um, so in that, right here, God showed me. He goes, you know, you yeah, really should have looked at verse 4. But I have my perfect timing. So this is the first part. Is two parts in verse 4. The first part says, when I remember these things, again, all the things above, I pour out my soul within me. Now, here is the second part of verse 4. We're going to get right into this. Now, it's Hebrew, so we're going to go from right to left. Okay? <laughs> we learned it's the mirror and blah, 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 blah. So your upper right-hand corner, we're going to start. First, I'm just going to read the English, and then we're going to get into it. <clears throat> right to left. So here we go. Circulars. I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise with a multitude that kept holy day. Now, for a second, I'm just going to leave it right there. Okay. I, I saw this. And I go, well, that's, that's, and again, that, this is an amazing promise. This is an amazing prophecy. This is an amazing word of God that, 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 that um, it spoke to what, right when it was um, written and throughout generations to right now. So there's another um, revelation that God is going to show us right now in this scripture. So this is 42.4, the, the second, second part. The second part. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So for all of you guys out there, uh, 42 or 24 backwards, and then you got, I know I had to say it. You got verse 2, 3, 4, the first part of 4. This is the second part of 4. Okay, so we just read it. This is great. I'm just going to, I didn't, I'm not going to put up and make your screen busy, but I'm going to just explain what the, some of the Hebrew things here, because there's something that we need to know. Da -da. The, the, the first part, upper right hand corner where it says, I had gone. Okay. In the Hebrew, that word right there means to pass over from one place to another, to be carried over from one place to another, to be brought over from one place to another. Okay, so I had passed over from one place to another with this multitude. Now, in the Hebrew, this multitude is a throng of people. <coughs> Forgive us, we're going to be coughing, guys. So that's, it is what it is. So with this first one, this multitude, it, it means a throng of people. A smaller throng of a larger group. So the, it's not like a mul great, huge multitude. It's a throng of people. It's a remnant. Oh, yeah, let's say it's a remnant of people. So he had passed over. With this remnant of people, where did they go? They went up to the house of God. Okay, so this throng of people passed over from one realm to the other, mm -hmm. to the house of God. We know that's an, in his kingdom, his realm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when they went, they went with the voice, the voice, and come back down to the bottom on the right, of joy. Now that word joy, it literally means a, a, a ringing, crying out. <laughs> like, a, like a, I'm not going to do it right now, but it, it's a screaming shout of rejoicing. Now the word praise, so our voice, a screaming cry of joy, and the praise includes, the next word includes dancing. Rejoicing and movement and flow and music. So are you guys getting a picture? Maybe hopefully we're getting a picture of where, what's going to happen, where we're going. And as we go now, this word multitude, the next one, for all of you smart people, you've already realized that this word multitude is a different Hebrew word than this word multitude up here. Hmm. Okay. The one up top is H5519. And if you rearrange the letters, the other one, uh, the numbers is 1995. So remember the upper one. So they had passed over with a smaller remnant to the house of God with great celebration rejoicing to go meet up with this multitude. And so I looked up that multitude and that means a massive amount of people gathered together mm -hmm. and the first time that Hebrew word is used is when God promises Abraham that he oh. will make him a great multitude of nations. So wow. Abraham's bosom, nice. heaven. Yeah. Whew. Now, so passing over from one realm to the other with a remnant of people to the house of God with amazing celebration so that we can meet those dead in Christ and those others that went before us that are wait, you know, in yeah. Abraham's bosom in heaven. Oh, 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 God, yes. Now, together, we are going to keep a holy day. And I'm like, what? What is this? It's not holiday, right? I'm not reading that wrong, right? It's, anyway, <laughs> it means basically a huge 
feast celebration. Yeah, that's that where they, they got holidays. There you go. Right, right, right. So, <coughs> again, now, I haven't said anything that argues with Scripture when it comes to God's eternal purpose of what we are all waiting for, the, mm -hmm. you know, that, that moment that we are ejected out of here and we go from one realm to the other, we pass over with all of us who are in Christ, which is a very smaller part compared to the 8 billion that are here. Okay, so I don't want to beat it to a dead horse, but what do you think? Do you Too get late. that picture? <laughs> Too late, I beat it. The horse is going, I'm bad, I'm bad. And I was like, no, you ain't. No, I'm kidding. But that's what we're doing. <laughs> Sorry, I went nuts. Do you understand that picture? I am rejoicing because this is what we're waiting for. So right. this is not, and, um, and go ahead. It, this whole, like, look at 2, 3, mm -hmm. where is your God? Right, all through 20, Where is your God? Everybody is saying, it's here it is, 24. The mockers and where scoffers. Where is your God? And um, when and, I remember these things, yes, I, cry I pour out, out my soul yes. within me. Oh. Yes, that's where we've been. Right. That's where our heart has been mm -hmm. since the first. Yeah, <laughs> forever but right. you, i hope you guys are getting remember we are sharing a prophetic picture mm -hmm. that the holy spirit is revealing to all of us not just us but to all of us so put your comments in there even if you disagree or you say hey did you miss you missed this or you didn't see this we'd love to get because we're, we're part of the body of right. christ we want to learn from one another mm -hmm. okay that's part of the one another's okay you good on this one yeah okay let's move on okay now, we're going to one of the, right now, this is a current hot scripture. Now, we got this scripture a while back. This this is part where, where Betty said, yeah, you need to look at this. And so, I, I we agree. And we're going to go deep right now. Mm -hmm. Now, again, <clears throat> I know that other people are talking about this. We're just going to share, share our part that we got. Yeah. And here we That's go. All we got. That's all we can do. So, mm -hmm. Psalm 124, 6 through 8. This is what it says. Lori, would you please read for us? I, I love this. Blessed be the Lord, who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Mm -hmm. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Yes. It's okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Time out. My fault. Want me to finish? Okay. <coughs> we warned you. <laughs> so anyway, it took a small break, but we're good. Now I'm just going to finish with uh, verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. That, amen. Follow that phrase right there, who made heaven and earth throughout the Bible. It's, it's just beautiful. Okay. Now, let's break this down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, uh, some of us, you guys out there, have studied this in great detail. I'm not going to go massively in the whole thing. Just want to give you an understanding of what these three verses are pointing to. Okay? This first one, of course, even though right now we're, we're at the end times. We, we are living in the end times right before Jacob's trouble. You know all of that. All of the things that are going nuts. Okay? Even in those times when all we're still going through trials and tribulations, Almighty God will not give us as prey to the enemy. We will not be destroyed. He, the enemy cannot touch the real us. Cannot touch us. Right. Our spirit. We're we're protected. We have right. God's force field. Right. Okay. And even our bodies is right. according to Almighty God's will. Right. And so, I, I, I and another thing too about what's going on in the world, and we've been hearing about all the persecuted Christians that's going on, and this verse says it right here. Our soul is escaped. Right. Their souls escape. Mm -hmm. Remember when Stephen was being stoned mm. and he Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he saw Jesus. He surrendered his spirit right. to the Lord. Yeah. And you yeah. know, I, I just feel like that a lot you know, the enemy has put the fear out in us because of oh. um hmm. you know, well, death. Going and, through that process and, of Yeah, and right. just passing over. Right. Um Right. Not that I I I pray that God, you know, be with the families and these people yeah. that are being persecuted. Uh, it's right, heartbreaking, right, 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 honestly, right. All to over the world. hear about. Um, but at the same right. time, it's like we can't, we, we just can just pray and then we hear it, we take it, pray, God bless these people, bless our, right. our brothers and sisters in Christ, right. and I hand it over to you. I can't carry it. There you go. I can't carry it. Right. Because it's too much. Right, and we're not supposed to. That's right. that part of the that what you just said, linking all of us together, praying for these right. things, because our shoulders alone are not big enough. And we're, right. I love that you said that because we're going to get into that. Right. But but again, you have to distribute that on the whole body. Yeah. On the whole body, yeah. we can only do our part. 
So that was beautifully said, okay? Now, we can only do our part. Um, so we're not going to get right now into verse 7. In a second, we're going to get deeper into that. But right now, again, our help comes, our help is in the name of the Lord. We know that Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, mm -hmm. Almighty God, the Anointed One, our help is in Him. He is our help. He is our help. He is the Creator who made heaven and earth, and everything that is made, He made. Yeah. So, and he's the one that loves us. He's in charge. He's the one that takes care of us. We yes. can go on and on, but that's where, that's where our focus has to be on Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because if we look at the end times, all the things that are going on, yeah. we will spiral down into a dark hole. Yeah. And that's why we need the body as well to help pull one another out of that dark hole and, and focus one another on yeah. Christ Jesus. Yeah. Focus on Jesus. Yes. That's all we can do. Okay. <laughs> all right. So now that we've said that. <laughs> We're going to go into verse 7, okay? So here, and th thank you, Betty. You showed us this, but now we're, 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 we're going to go a little deeper here. Um, okay, so, but this part is not from Betty. <laughs> i got, I got to go over this. From right to left, our soul as a bird is escaped out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken. We are escaped. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to focus on this just for a second. Right here. This is verse in verse 7. The fowler, right in the middle, it literally describes Satan, okay? His evil devices, his schemes, all that, that guy that's out there to kill, steal, and destroy, that is Satan, okay? And he has snares. As you see, he's got a snare here and here on both sides of him. Now, why is that important? There, I hope you guys understand this. Even though we are living here, there is a beast system in this world. Mm -hmm. Satan is in charge of the world system, the beast system. Nothing to be scared of. Nothing to be, we're not of the world we're in it not of it so we operate here we have to function here in christ right so in that the fowler has snares physical snares things any any kind of snare you want to imagine addictions I, I, again I'm, I, whatever you want to imagine think of snares one of those snares is our last enemy that we have to defeat to get out of here and, and jesus christ is going to do it when this last flesh this last snare this last trap is what does the scripture say? Right here is broken. So Almighty God is going to break the snare of the fowler so that we can what? Why do we need to have this broken? Because we are going to escape. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is our great escape. I don't care what any of you guys, you guys are escape this and escape artists. And yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ said, pray that you're found worthy to escape. escape. Escape! For those of you that might know what escape is. So listen, we are called to escape, but we can't escape until Jesus Christ, that one Kairos moment in time happens so that we can escape. Mm -hmm. Now, when is that going to happen? Well, I'm not going to give a, a, a day or hour. We're not going to call out a day. Now, we have been calling out and we will continue to call out a season. And so far, we are in the season still. As you can see right there, uh, 24. We're still in that season, but here's, here's what I want to really hammer down. The double doors will be opening. God is going to open up his portal to take us out. Now, I, I like to get crazy in the numbers. That, that, first of all, that, that um, word right there, that uh, mal, malat, malat, is Hebrew 4, 4, 2, 2. Very interesting numbers. Right in the middle is 24. Just I'm just throwing it out there. I, I'm going to show you something, guys. This is true, and you can do this. 4 and 4 is what? 8. So we have an 8 here and an 8 here. 2 and 2 is 4. We have a 4 there and a 4 there. 88, we hopefully you know, 88 represents Jesus Christ, the Aleph and the Tav. Okay, 20, right there. Bam. And the other <laughs> represents 44, the door. I, I know this is crazy. Go look at Ezekiel 44. Those, 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 all of that's going to happen. So, in that, all it's saying is Jesus Christ is returning. He's going to break the snare of the fowler so that we can escape. Okay? That I can, we can go on and on and on. But now we have to go one more layer a little deeper because there's a hidden message that Betty gave us a head up on and we have to go over it. So, here we go. All right. Psalm 124.7. Now, from this is just strictly Hebrew, going from right to left, okay? So, these first three words are, our soul as a bird escaped. 
I couldn't get my eyes off. This is crazy. So in here, there is definitely a hidden message from God. A lot of you guys know this, but maybe some of you do not. So we're going to go over that in, in a little bit more detail. Now, those first, those three words all have five characters. There are five Hebrew letters that make up those words. So there's a counting in here. If we go from the first letter and we count five, we will find something hidden inside here. So the first one we're going to go over is uh, noon, and then you go one, two, three, four, five. So look at that, five, ten, fifteen. There's three characters. We got. We're going to skip five, and we get another character. Then we skip five. One, two, three, four, five. We get another character. Believe it or not, that does actually make a word. That that is a Hebrew word. Now before I tell you that Hebrew word, we're going to go over the Hebrew characters because I'm telling you, it's so cool, and it actually describes that word. So here we go. The first character, Hebrew character, in that <clears throat> word is noon. Means, again, life, activity, fish. Okay, that's the first character right there in noon. Second character is sade. Sade is to catch, to be caught. Okay, a harvest. You get it, there's an idea going here, a harvest, to pull forward. Unable to escape, like we can't escape because it's caught us, right? Out of where? We're escaping out of trouble. <laughs> okay, now, it also means strongly desire, just or righteous, to need, and a fish hook. So, are you, start, there's a, there, you can start to see possibly what this word means. So, life and it's being caught, and it's being caught to go somewhere. Okay, now the third character is Lamed. Lamed is a, a, a you know, let's say here it is, to control, to shepherd, is a shepherd, a staff, to have authority. To urge forward, another one to urge forward, okay? Also, after that, so then we have the tongue and the voice of authority and the staff, okay? So that, that's how we finish out Lambit. Now, all of that together, can we get a picture of what that might mean? So look at this. Now, if you remember, so from our other video, noon, as you can see, is actually in the word for soul. So our life, our soul, our life is going to be caught and taken, mm -hmm. right, somewhere by someone who is in authority, mm -hmm. a shepherd, to take us somewhere. So the picture of that, we're going somewhere. Now, what that word is, is Right here, upper left, as you can see, it's H5337. That's what this word is. Okay, now, just real quick, because I love numbers. Uh, of 33 is God's promise. It means God's promise. So that's his promise. And I noticed that if I take 7 and 5, it's 12. I did math right this time. And 2 and 1 is 3. So literally, if you just break down the basic numbers, it's, you know, 3. <laughs> All the way across, 3, 3, 3. So I just saying that just because I wanted to. So here we go. What is that word? Well, that word is not Saul. You guys know this word now. Not Saul, I'm sure, is going over and over and over in the Washman community. And not Saul means to snatch away, to deliver, to rescue, to escape, to save. Another word for harpazo. Thank you. There you go. Oh. It is another word for harpazo or rapture. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, woo. Listen, so not, not to be crazy, but in Psalm 124, verse 7, the Hebrew, we saw in the first three words broken down. Each one has five characters. We broke down the hidden ca uh, characters in each one, and it spells out not Saul, which is harpazo or rapture to escape. Now, one last thing I have to show you. You see that right here up on the upper, upper right. Do you see this right here? Mm -hmm. That's the word. Now, I was noticing, I'm not, I don't know Hebrew. I'm not a Hebrew. We're not, we don't know Hebrew. Okay, so, but we can read and we can notice patterns and we can see things. And I was noticing that right there is not so. That's how it's written in the modern Hebrew. Now, here's it from right to left. It looks like we're here. And then we go here and then here. And it literally... It looks like it's pointing up. It, there you go. There's an arrow right there. So the word not Saul literally looks like it's pointing up. The characters mean I'm going to take you up to my place. Do you see? So everything about that... And there's more. I, mean, I, could, I don't want to right now, but I can go on and on and on. There's so much more. 
and it still points to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. It still points to what's going to be taking place, the harpazo, the rapture. It's still in this season. Mm -hmm. It is in this time. We are awaiting for it. We're throwing all the signs and all those things on top of this. Obviously, this is what we're waiting for. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't go against anything in Scripture. It shows you even more layers because God is limitless. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, I hope... There. I, we got that. So, yes. Thank you, Betty. That part right there, you, hit, you sh showed us that that's hidden in there. And, man, that, that's our escape. Mm -hmm. And that's coming. It is definitely coming. Jesus Christ is coming. Okay. Whew. Take a, i got to take a drink. Mm -hmm. Now, Isaiah 35, verse 3 through 4. Lori... Lori found this. You were, you were, remember, you were searching for something, and you said, I'm going to put that card and come back to it. Right. How, how did you find it? What were you, what were you looking for? In <coughs> what were you looking for? You don't have to say, but you can. Well, my Bible just automatically mm. opened it up to it. Okay. You were, and go ahead. I happened to see that it was Isaiah 35. Usually, when that happens, I, I want to pay attention because I feel like the Lord is highlighting something. Gotcha. So, I saw Isaiah 35... And I happened to see your cards laying over there. Okay. And I grabbed one because I was like, I want to come back to it. And I grabbed the seven, which is three, five, seven is our numbers. And it, it, long story, you story. know. Yeah. But anyway, so I thought, how interesting. I wonder what 357 says. And I'll check that later because I was actually right. looking for something else. <laughs> right. But anyway, right. so that's how that came out. Then when I went back to it, it was. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell I you? Had, I had to. Write it down. Okay. Now, okay. Remember, if you know, if you've been around us uh, with the channel, at night, she does her thing with God. In the morning, I do my thing with God. So I see her notes, and she says, Pete, read Isaiah 35, 36, 37. I went, that's a lot. I, okay, but because it's I, I, a needle in a haystack, I don't know what she wants me to find, <laughs> but I'll go. I'll go. So I did, and all of a sudden, wham, this hit me, other yeah. things, and so it was confirmation. Right. So out of that came the scripture. And I just I just want to show them the scripture. Can we do that? And I'm going to if you don't I'm going to save her voice. I'm probably going to read it myself. I just want to save your voice for any input you want to give. So here we go. Now this is Isaiah 35, 3 and 4. All right. Strengthen ye the weak hands. I'm going to read it first. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are fearful of heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. This just flew off the page at me for a lot of reasons. I mean, uh, three and four is seven. I know all the, the scripture that's talking about. It, it just, it just, it just it lined up with everything right, else. Right. So, like, to me, um, Go ahead. What, what I would, had found out was by reading the three chapters, 35, 36, 36 37, 37, it was a progression. Like, it was like a rapture. Uh, um, then they said, don't listen to the prophets. Right. Which we have the two witnesses are coming. Right. And then after that was um, trouble. Right. Like, it was like uh, the, the three chapters. It's kind of, yeah, like, it kind of like spoke it. So. Again, um, uh, picture, you can see the picture. It's right. pretty right there. Yeah. Yeah. It really it is awesome. It is the rapture. Right. And so yeah, <laughs> out of that, I'm seeing this. And so we were discussing it. So let's look a little deeper here. Mm -hmm. Um Look at that word, vengeance. Okay, now, watch this. This is so... For, you. This is pretty obvious, okay? I, 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 but you know, it, it, it goes great, but I'm going to tell you this. Vengeance. Our God, our avenger comes, mm -hmm. and he's coming to save us. Our avenger, go look at that word. Our avenger, God Almighty, is coming to save us. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, without any doubt. Now... Go ahead. And it will be right on time. Mm -hmm. Like, in other words, you know, like a lot of people, uh, the more that, that it delays, you know, the more that we have seems to, to linger it, and tarry. The more the enemy wants to come in and strike fear in our hearts. Right. And uh, Can't let that happen. Yeah. Can't so. let that happen. So, so in so saying that. So that's the fight. That's why people want to get out of here because we don't, we don't we're oh. tired of fighting the fear, all the fear that is being thrown at us. In every direction. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't succumb to that. We don't give in right. to that. Right. Never give up. Never surrender to the enemy. Blech. Okay. So, our Avenger is coming for yes. all, all who are his. Now, this next word right here, recompense. Imagine this. Now, this is in all the other scriptures. 
when Jesus Christ comes, mm -hmm. he's coming with mm, things to give out. Uh, the, the, it gives the um, like compensation. Here's what you've done, so I'm going to give you this. Here's what you've done, I'm going to give you this. Good and bad. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen at the rapture? We get taken, right? We get the good. Here's the boom, we're out. The world gets the wrath of God. Sin has to be dealt with. Has to be so. Do you see what, that's that's that right there? And when that happens, that bang bang play. When that happens, he will come and save us. Yeah. Now I have to say something on timing. Okay, now we, might as well. We all, hopefully, all of you guys know. If you don't, please forgive me. But here you go. In the Gregorian calendar, 2023 has finished. In the Gregorian calendar, the Julian calendar, the 2023 ends uh, January. I think it's 14th. I think it's January 14th, something like that. And then, this is crazy, um, the Chinese calendar doesn't end, right? It turns over February 10th, which they go from 23-24, the year of the dragon, that's, that's February 10th. I learned a new one, the NFL. They literally think they are still in 2023 because they are having the 2023 playoffs. They're going to have the 2023 Super Bowl. Go look for yourself. So that will end February 11th on the Super Bowl, which again, we're not going to get into all that, but I had to tell you right now. Then you have the, the, the most of the Jews around the world believe that they are in 5784, the Jewish year. But God, according to his scripture, he says, nay, nay, the beginning of the year for God, his calendar is the first of Abib or Nisan, mm -hmm. which is the first of the year, which is coming up in March or April, right? Okay, so I have to say that because I got, God is perfect mm -hmm. and he is on his time and he's gonna fulfill everything of his word. Yes, true and amen, it's there. That's why it's impossible to pick a date. There you go, right. So that's why we're not <laughs> picking a date, but according to scripture and according yeah. to the things that are going on around the world, the sun, Those moon, the, the stars, signs. All the signs point to he's coming to get us, so our adventure comes, so look, because he's coming. All right, so let's move on. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Matthew 10. Now, now, here we go. Now, he's coming, but we're still here. We have to occupy. Yeah. While we're here, what is it going to be like? What are we supposed to do? But things are not normal. Special, I'm just going to say, for us, things are just not normal. We are doing what we can one day at a time, baby steps to the rapture, but things are just not normal, which is fine, because the Word of God says things will not be normal. <laughs> you will go through trials and tribulations. All of you that are in Christ Jesus are going to be going through the things that we're going to discuss in different levels, in different ways, but it, mm -hmm. it's all important and yeah. it all matters. And here's what we're going to start. We're just going to start. You ready? <clears throat> okay. Matthew 10, verse 16. 16 is love, 10 ordinal perfection. So here is perfect love. Here we go. Behold... I send you forth as sheep. He's talking to all of us in Christ. Mm -hmm. I send you forth as sheep in the midst, among, in the middle of wolves. Stop right there. So, all of us people that think we need to be isolated. We can't have the world touch us. we got to go to the mountain and be away from everybody. Jesus didn't say that. Jesus didn't say, hey, I'm going to send you to the mountain so you don't have to deal with the world. <laughs> say that. He said, behold. Oh, it sounds nice. Oh, it sounds, oh, I love it, but that's not what he said. He distinctly said, to blave, no kidding. <laughs> we all know to blave means to bluff. That's from a movie. Listen, behold, I send you forth as sheep. We are sheep. We know that. Now, these wolves, they are crazy, and they can be very deceptive. So, Jesus says, so therefore, because of that, think about this. Be smart. Be as wise as serpents and harmless of doves. And that's the English translation, and it's perfect. But is there something more we can learn from this? Because we need to know. We, this is what we're about until we're out of here. This is what we're about. So. It, this, it makes me think of Looney Tunes. You know, the, all the, the cartoons with the sheep and the wolves trying what? to get in oh. there and sneak in there. And <laughs> Some of my favorite. <laughs> Honestly, Wild E. Coyote trying to come up with a plan to go get the sheep. Uh, some of my favorite cartoons anyway. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And we and, 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 and you have you have the uh, uh, Holy Spirit. He's the big sheep dog and he's watching over all the flock. You think he's not paying attention and all of a sudden, wham! The enemy gets hit out of nowhere and we get delivered. Okay. 
<laughs> see, you can see Christ in anything, guys. Allow the Holy Spirit to do this with you. So, let's have some more fun. So, in this, therefore, Jesus says, be as wise as serpents. Ay, ay, ay. We know that serpent, right? We know what the serpent is. But so he wants us to be wise mm -hmm. as a serpent. So here's what wise, very simple, intelligent, wise, prudent, mindful of one's entrance. It, it, that, that word. Listen, so in the army, stay awake, stay alert, stay alive, right? You had to be aware, and I was taught to be aware of my surroundings. Common sense prevails. Mm -hmm. When we are living right now in Christ, common sense prevails with the Holy Spirit, right? And in that, we are had... Paul says you are not unaware of the devices, the schemes of the enemy. We have to be aware. Guys, right now, I, I, I'll say it like this too. AI is so crazy right now, you, you, you almost can't believe a lot of things that you're, you're watching right, even. Right. Because Lord, sometimes Lord will go, hey, what does this look to you? And I go, oh, nope, 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 nope. Only because I've had technology for over 35 years, I just can spot certain things. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, but AI is getting so good, mm -hmm. you can't even sometimes trust what you're actually watching. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in saying that, we have to bring everything to Christ in the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit and let him weed through this. And he, it's his, we have the mind of Christ Together, we have the mind of Christ to see past this. The lies, deception, manipulation, and control of the enemy. God exposes those things yeah. so that we can be this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, harmless. So, harmless. I, I, I'm gonna, we're going to get to it right now. But, but right now. But I, again, remember how I think last time I said I don't see myself as gentle? I don't. Harmless. <laughs> well, we I, I know. can't just go around beating people up. <laughs> Right. I know. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, like... I get it. I, because like, in other words, we can't fight the enemy with our hands. There you go. There you go. And honestly, this has leaked in a little bit to the, to the church, the ecclesia, uh, what you're saying, where basically we've we've turned on each other a couple of times and then try to bite each other's back. But we're supposed to be as harmless. Now, let's just get right into this word. Harmless means this. That word uh, in the Greek means unmixed, pure, as in wines or metals. So... Remember, purity. So I, I never thought that. I, when I see harmless, I, 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 can, I get an idea. I, I understand because I relate the dove to the Holy Spirit. I get that and he works through us. Yes, I, I, I understand that. But the actual word means pure, mm -hmm. unmixed with anything that's, let's say, on the other side. Honestly, of the enemy. Because impurity, you don't want to have impurities. Impurities aren't of God, they're of the enemy. You see what I'm saying? So it's of sin. So all the sin has been removed from us. We are pure in Christ Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ washes us. Yes, but we are also still in the process of the renewing of our mind. There you go. Because there you go. we're renewing it to, to purification. Yes. Purification. Yes. But we're, and, and in that renewance of our mind, we're being transformed. Okay. All right, so are you guys good? Are we good on that one, Lori? Okay, so let's move on. We're going to move on. Sorry, We're doing or good. Lucy was Lucy Lou. chewing on something. She's eating something. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's our little, it's our little uh, Shih Tzu. She's a beautiful little one. Where are we going? Here we go. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 4. I, let's take a pause. I hope you guys are getting something out of this. <clears throat> These are not just words. We're not just sitting here spouting off stuff. This is our life. These are the scriptures. This is how God is showing us to live. Mm -hmm. No matter what is going on, God is showing us how to live in these times and how to focus on Jesus Christ with the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, here we go. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 4. Have I been in a, in a more human speed talking? Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. She says, yes, we're moving on. 48, here we go. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. What, what, I don't even know what this is. Oh, here we go. God is going to show us some things here. Bear with. We're, we're, going to, we're going to allow the Holy Spirit to teach us here. So, verse 4 is broken down into uh, some chunks. This is the very first part of verse 4. But all things, Paul says to the ecclesia, but in all things, approving ourselves as ministers of God, as the ministers of God. Take that at face value, and, and, and then Paul goes on to show you how he's approved, mm -hmm. okay, and how they, when, it's not just him it's them he's with a group that group who is going forth and birthing the churches and ecclesias he's talking about them as well as us okay so here we go mm -hmm. but in all things now i got stuck on this word approving so we're gonna we're gonna sit right here that word right there in the greek is four nine two one okay um 
I had it before we started these videos. <laughs> I actually practiced that. Sunistimi. There you go. Sunistimi. Sunistimi. Yeah. So that word, approving, has a, a deeper, it's just deeper, and we're going to get into it. So here we go. Let's just go. I don't want to over-dramatize this. The first thing it means is to place together, to set in the same place, to bring and band together. God is going to show us right now, if you allow the Holy Spirit to get this revelation, I'm telling you, he's going to get it over to you. This is how we have ecclesia. I'm going to show you this right now. So if you're alone, you think you're alone, a, a single person somewhere alone, and all you have is this, this is how we band together. If, you, uh, if there are two or more in Christ Jesus, banding together. Mm -hmm. This is how you do it. So the first thing is bringing and banding together. Someone else in Christ, get on the phone, text, email, do something. Find someone of like mind in Christ so you can do this, mm -hmm. right? Okay, even us. Email us. I'm not kidding. We can have a Zoom session. I don't care. Email us. Do something where we can have Ecclesia together. We can do this together. If you guys want to do that and have maybe, I don't know, uh, five to seven, ten people on a Zoom call and we can actually experience this and do Ecclesia, put it in the comments because we can do it. It's just fun and amazing. I know she's going, what are you about, talking about? I know. We talked about doing a live. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's one of those things like right. if we set a date for a live, um, it's sort of like, because things happen so weird here. And like, so quickly. Every day is very different. We don't know what's going to really happen that day. Right. So it's hard to set a date because so, we just aren't, we're afraid that we don't want to have to cancel it. Here's you know, the thing. That's what I mean. Here's the thing. We're going to set one. Sure. And we'll put it out there. And we're going to go from there. It's, right. in, it's in God's hands, not ours. Here we go. So the second part of that, the second part of this word approving, approving. So bring and band together. Approving also means, this word means to set one another. Now, if you've seen some of our other videos, you know we mentioned the one another's a lot. Mm -hmm. And I even said, if you want to do an amazing study, go look at the, the Greek word one another's. I want to say it's G240, but don't quote me. Go look at one another. And it shows you all the beautiful one another's that we can do in the ecclesia together, loving one another, supporting one another, caring for one another, doing all of those things. It's all love. It's all God. And this is a picture of it right here, okay? So that's the one another's. Now, presenting and introducing him. Now, the ecclesia, doing ecclesia, being the ecclesia, which is the church, is so much more different than going to a building to hear a person tell you things about the Bible and then sing some songs, give some money, and go back home. That's not this. That's not what ecclesia is. So, to be able to present, which means, we are, think of us as a pride of lions. We are all, we all go hunting and we all mm -hmm. feast on something and we bring it back to the tribe, yeah. the pride, the tribe, and then we feast together. Like we each share, like what God has showed us. A life experience, us, like, something or, in the word. Yeah. Yeah. We it's, bring Christ. We all yes. bring Christ to the table. Yes. Together. So it's like an, uh, um, it's a, um, it's, what's what word are you looking for? A uh, life sharing, sharing. Co-laboring. There you go. A co yeah, thank it's you. It's a co-laboring yes. instead of a show. Right. There you go. Instead a, of one person having to do with it. And, and um, <laughs> put our true. check that we were there because you, exactly. know, you get a phone call if you're not there. And if, anyway, if, yeah, we, could go, <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could go on. A, I'm sorry. I went skiing today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Had to take about right. Now, listen. We're, we're talking 35 just, years of understanding the uh, church, the building, and uh, how leadership and pastoral we've been pastoral, all that. We understand it. We're not making fun of it, but we're exposing what's not of God. And we're I've showing never you. I've been skiing. I know, I know. We can't even <laughs> ski. I've been snow skiing, but then I fell a lot. So listen, that's the second part. Ready? Mm -hmm. The next part to comprehend, okay, to put together. We just were presenting and introducing him. Him who? Him, Jesus Christ. Yes. We bring Christ in. We feast on him, present and introduce. We also comprehend. We try to understand together with the Holy Spirit so we get the full picture of Christ mm -hmm. and what the Word is saying. And we put it together and we teach one another by, this is exactly right, we combine one another what we both got and we bring it together and we compare it and we say, oh, 
Look at the bigger picture of Christ, God's eternal purpose. And that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. That's what this yeah. is. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's relatable. There you go. Relatable. There you go. Relatable. I love your words. And it's the same kind of thing that, you know, you see all the um, YouTube watchmen and stuff. They're bringing their part of what God's showing there them. There you go. Um, you know, and... It's right. a co-laboring. We're all we're all in this together. We're all here for the same goal. Yes. Jesus. Yes. We're in it together. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Some people <laughs> misbehave sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Move on. But we're family. We love each move other. On. We move on in love. Okay. The next thing. Look at this. Okay. To show, prove, establish, exhibit, to put together. But look at this. Unite all the parts together into one whole. Now this is all. All of this is just that word approving. You get the picture, the understanding of what ecclesia is. Now later, Paul talks about how to have ecclesia, even in other uh, first Corinthians, how to bring it together. You bring songs and hymns and spiritual songs and teachings and words and prophet, all of it together. You bring together and that's what this is. And it's possible. We've done it. We've seen it. We've lived it. It's beautiful. And if you guys want to experience this, we're not doing anything else until we go. That was my fingers, and it hurt a lot. Uh, since we're not doing nothing, we might as well try to do this according to God if we can. Just put it in God's hands. That's all I'm saying. No pressure. Ready? Did you, did you get it? That's just that word. Okay, that's just that word. So let's move on. <laughs> now, we all know Psalms 133, where the unity of the brethren is there. God commands his blessing. Mm. So we, that's why we fight tooth and nail to have unity between her and I. We are one in Christ, not just words. So we're the unity of the brethren, because we're brethren in Christ. He commands his blessing. So that's what we're trying to do. That's what we do. That's our life. Now, really? Good? We're good? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. The next word, <laughs> believe it or not, ministers of God. Now, that's uh, <laughs> diakonos. <coughs> diakonos. Now, Diakonos. There you go. Wherever you want to put the uh, emphasis on the <laughs> syllable, you go right ahead because we're, we're, we're not Greek either. Now, that word means this. All Greek to me. It's all Greek to me. That's such an old joke. It is an old joke, but I'm old. But I digress. Ministers. Here's what it means. Now, sometimes you get the idea of a minister of some big fame platform, huge church, massive, you know. Minister. Here's ministers of God. One who executes the commands of his master. Our master is Jesus Christ, almighty God. So we are to execute by the Holy Spirit his commands. That's what we do. So that's a minister. Okay, now the next part of minister is a servant, an attendant, a minister, or a waiter. Think waiter. Waiter, right? God gives us. The revelation, his fresh bread, and we just bring it out. We're just delivery boys. Right, right. right. Here you go, right? Yeah, yeah. Boom. We're not going to add or delete. We're just going to give you what right. God just has. Just give what you got. You yeah. don't have to always emphasize so much on it. There's, 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 there's some really beautiful people out there that um, are sharing what God is giving them. And because of the scrutiny that you get yeah. on being... Uh, out there in the public for everybody to see <laughs> that you feel like you always have to uh, excuse your defend yourself defend yourself excuse yourself and this is why I say this is right and there's so much over talk that you miss the, the message the nugget, the and, nugget. and it's like just give what you got just give what the Lord gave you and that's it right you don't have to um, you don't have to justify yourself why would God talk to you? Yeah. It is because we are his servants. Yes. You know, anyway, so mm -hmm. I, that's, I just want to say right. that because. That's beautiful. I, yeah. No, that's beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. The important thing is it, yeah. we remember we're, we're humbled in Christ. We're, we are literally <clears throat> just waiters and we're delivering his goods. That's all we are. And that's what this word right here of ministers represents. Mm -hmm. And the next thing that it represents is this. That we are the servant of the king. Mm -hmm. We are the servant of the king. Amen. Amen. So this but we are also ambassadors yes, of Christ. Absolutely. And and we are ambassadors of Christ. And we also his... stand in authority. Yeah. So we can be She's a servant. We can be in authority. And we you know, yes, I mean, yes. 
You have all kinds of servants that are in authority. Absolutely. Have authority Joseph. Roles. Is there one named Joseph out there? <laughs> yes, there's, that's a perfect example. Yeah. Knowing Christ, who you are in Christ, yeah. the attitude, we are nothing but waiters and servants mm -hmm. of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yeah. And we're delivering what he gives us yeah. to deliver. Like, I remember the first time I ever felt used by God. In a good way. Know, it, <laughs> Go on, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And, and I, I just thought, I can't believe you would use me. You know, it was just so like, um, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just a... It blows your mind. It's a ding dong. <laughs> just a ding dong. In a twinkie world. There you go. <laughs> and God's like, no, you're a twinkie in a ding dong world. You're the twinkie, they're the ding dongs. But still, either way, when God uses yeah. us, when we, on purpose, God uses us and he does, it blows it's our the minds. It's feeling ever. Right. It's like, who, who are we that you could, would use us? Yeah. So, again, the attitude of a servant Mm -hmm. Right here, the first part, approving. So in all things. Now we miss in all things. So guys, understand what the ecclesia is. Get with one another. Get with us. Reach out to us. Reach out to someone that you trust and 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 that you know in Christ Jesus. And together you are servants and yeah. ministers. You're ministers. You're ministers. Not a piece of paper says that you're a minister yeah. and you can now minister. Baloney juice. Your authority is in the Word of God, and He says go. <laughs> And so we go. And as we go, we get to do all this. Yes. All right? So what else is, oh, this last part, last part. Now, just real quick, in the numbers, okay? Psalms 133, uh, 3, 6 equals 7, okay? Um, if I break this down all the way and this down all the way, I believe it's uh, 16 and 16, which is love and love, both of these words. Oh, I forgot to mention, look at this. The Greek word for uh, approving is 4921. Well, the word for minister is one, two, four, nine. It's the same numbers. I'm just saying God is perfect. Okay. He did that in the last video, in the last thing too. Right. He, he, he constantly shows us that. And so 16 and 16, both of them are seven. So we literally have seven here, seven here, and seven here. God is just saying, yes, this is of me. This is all of Christ. This is how you engage. This is how you do it. This is who you are. Guys, this is beautiful. I hope, I pray, Holy Spirit, show them this revelation yes. because it's amazing. Okay, we good on that? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on because we got to. We got to move on. Now, continuing, believe it or not, <laughs> with 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 4, 2 and 4. <coughs> this is the next part of that scripture, I believe. Yes, okay. So, this is the state that God calls us to be in no matter what. At all times, in Christ Jesus, we're going to go over the, 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 the state, how to be. Okay? Now, that was the first part of... Not this. the state of confusion. <laughs> Not the state of confusion. We are to be in much patience. Uh -huh. In much patience. But hold on. We're going to see what that means, though. I'm glad she did that. No, not naming names out there. I've, I've seen people, when you, when you use the word patience, they, they, they really get afraid. Or they get, oh, I know how patience is supposed to come. We're going to let the, the scriptures speak to us and encourage us and build us up. Okay? So, the state we are to be in, in all things, is in much patience. And here's what that means. And we're, yes, we're going to go over this because it's important. Steadfast. Okay? We're going to go over this. But cheerful and hopeful. What? You mean when we are supposed to, patience is we're supposed to be cheerful and hopeful? Yes, because it has nothing to do with our circumstances. It has everything to do with Jesus Christ. Okay, so cheerful, yes. So look at that. Steadfast. There you go. You can read. He's always telling us to rejoice. Yes, exactly. We learned in our last video. So in that as well. Patience, steadfast, waiting for. We're waiting for. So patience, waiting for. The next part, here it is. Patiently enduring. Sustaining perseverance. So in all things, the state that we are called to be in is to patiently endure. Yeah. Patiently endure all these things. Now, here is the, um, uh, like the overall what that is meant to be. I'm just going to read it. In the New Testament, the characteristic of a man or a person who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and to deep devotion to Jesus Christ by even the greatest trials of suffering. So again, just the idea of no matter what is going on in our lives, we will not be moved 
from Christ Jesus. He is our foundation. He is the rock. He is solid. And he says, you will not be moved if you are in me because he doesn't shake. Right. Okay. Now that is patient endurance. So that is the state that we are to be in, in all things. Now, are we perfect? Mm -hmm. No. Do we whine and cry and complain? Absolutely. Cause we're human yeah. and we belly ache and we, oh, me, 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 me. Oh, yeah, me, 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 me. Yeah. Okay. In all of that, God says, focus on me. I'm going to show you how to patiently endure. Right. Go ahead. And not only, um, I mean, like you can stop it patiently endure, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the extra is the added bonus is right. you can actively participate. Oh yes. And we're going to get there. Yeah. And we're, yes. And we're, that's, that's coming actively participate. So that I'm thinking when you make up your mind, and you decide I'm all in and I'm going with you, Jesus, and we're going to patiently endure. That's where the cheerful and hopeful comes because then this next part comes in. And, oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Next. So what we just read and what we went over was first Corinthians. Okay. We just read, but in all things, okay. In all things, hold on one second. All right, here we go. So that this is just the first part that we just learned. All those things we just learned is just in that first part of the verse. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience. So everything we just went through is right there. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but it's awesome. It's alive. The word of God is alive. So here, there's a reason that we needed all of this stuff that he just mentioned first, because now we're going to get into it. Now we're, he's showing us this. The first word, there are, we're going to go into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine situations that may or may not uh, hit us. We, in other words, we that are in Christ may or may not go through uh, all of these. We will go through some, not all, but we will go through some. Some people, <laughs> you might feel like you're going through all this stuff, mm -hmm. but God's got an answer. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to break it down. So the first one, we're going to one at a time because it's important. So. But in all things, so the first ones he mentions is afflictions. And I just want to break it down because, again, it helps us understand. Afflictions, a pressing together, pressure, <laughs> oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, and straits. Okay? So uh, afflictions, yes, but we need to understand our lives can sometimes be overwhelming with pressure on every side. And, and that's what this talk is talking about, a type of tribulation. Yes, yes. Okay, and you're going to see some words over here that are, uh, they're similarly, they're used in these different Greek words. So here we go. Next word, next word. Necessities. Um, <clears throat> calamity, distress, straits. Again, these are <laughs> the types of the emergencies. <laughs> emergency, emergency. We've had our, our share of emergencies, okay? I know you guys out there have had your share of emergencies. So let's just move on to the next one. The next one is distresses literally means again a narrow place right pressure um dire calamity so again calamity and calamity but dire calamity even a more extreme affliction so again some of you uh, identify with this some of you might have perfect lives man you're not going through any of this i have no idea we are going through some of these things okay the next thing here we go let's get into this is stripes now again that's a blow a stripe a wound a public calamity that that could be a, a couple different things okay heavy affliction so we're going back we have extreme affliction <laughs> we have heavy affliction and plague we have to remember the joy of the lord is our strength mm -hmm. this is not oh no guys we've been going through this our entire life but god is focus, focusing us in on christ jesus now in these things, these heavy afflictions, these blows, these public calamities, we're all going through it. He's going to show us even more joy and peace. But look at the next one, okay? Imprisonment. Imprisonments. Yes, it means taken to prison. Like in Revelation, some of you will be taken to prison for 10 days, those kinds of things. And around the world, people are being taken to prison that should not be in prison, that are Christians. We know this all around the world, yeah. okay? It also means, though, persons keeping watch. Hmm. What? Yes, where captives are kept, but also centennials, guards, watch. Okay, so watchmen. It's also meaning uh, things like that. So it's, it's imprisonments, and imprisonments can be physical, and can, they can also be spiritual. Some people might be, um, again, they might be um, uh, attacked with uh, 
uh, addictions and things that the enemy is trying to bring them down constantly or or little hooks in them that might be, you know, um, those strongholds that need to be broken. But they're, they're, they, they try to pull us away from Christ. Mm -hmm. All of these things try to get our attention off of Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but I, I just thought that was interesting. People keeping watch. On a positive note, it can be strenuous keeping watch. If you are awake, alert, and watching, patiently enduring, and actively waiting, it can be a lot. Yeah. Right? It can yeah. be stressful. Like lately, I haven't been able, been, it's been difficult well, to go to the window and really. Can, can I say in your defense, though? I mean, come on, you, 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 the sickness hit you pretty hard. Yeah. It, it, it it's wiped very cold away. Outside, and, so what? I can't yeah. open the window. And, and before some of you people that know that we live in California, and you're like, it cannot be cold in California. I live on the East Coast. You don't know cold. I get it. I get it. But it's cold. <laughs> it's freezing. It has dropped below 50, and then at night it goes to 28. That's cold. I don't care where you live. <laughs> that's cold. Okay. So, <laughs> in that. We are going through these things. What's the next thing? That's imprisonment. So the next thing right here, we have tumults. Okay, that means um, instability, all right? A state of disorder. There is your confusion. That state of confusion where you're, you just feel like you're, maybe your mind is in a fog. You're just like, I don't even know what to do. I don't know what's going on. I mean, you know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, disturbances. Oh, some of you guys have said you felt a disturbance in the force. There was a shifting in the 2024, yes. a spiritual shifting. There was something that activated, that accelerated, that said, it, um, right? I mean, yeah, I, it, I think it's so. out there. It's out there. Okay. So that, believe it or not, is, is that word tumults. Okay. Next word. Let's look at, through this. Labors. Another beating, but grief, a beating, sorrow, intense labor. Wow. United with trouble and toil. A weary, there's that weariness again. A lot of people are going through weariness. Yeah. A lot of people are. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm not trying to drag this out. This is important that we understand this. We could just read those words. Yes. And we may or may not identify. We may right. or may not understand. Mm -hmm. right. But when you break down the Greek, it is extremely specific. Right. And the Lord is telling us these right. are the things that we are going to go through. And I have a feeling there's a but at the end. There might be a big old but. But here we go. Watch this. Now, that last word, the last two, watchings and fastings. Here's why we have to look at it in the Greek. But because it, it means sleeplessness. A lot of these things can cause sleeplessness. I know people that they, they, they have such a hard time sleeping. They can't get into that place of rest. Okay? And they're sleepless. Now. The fasting, this fasting, is caused by want or poverty. Believe it or not, not just us, people around the world, they are, their resources are disappearing. Yes. Their way of getting food is disappearing. Their yes. way of getting shelter is disappearing. Yes. By different things around the world. I saw um, in Africa oh. going on that they're having a hard time getting um, water and, col and cholera. Or oh, I can't pronounce it. The... But the disease is spreading. Oh, cholera. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> Remember that because of, because of the water so bad. And right. And the disease that's in the and water. really, we shouldn't really even be there still. You know? And, no. And, and, and I'm sure that it's the same way here where we're like, is our water okay? Do we need to be filtering our water because I don't trust, you know, yeah, and we, anymore. Yeah, we may or may not be filtering <laughs> our water. But, but, but in saying that, um, all around the world where they, but again, where they don't have the, they just, they don't have the resources. So we're praying for them. We yes. pray for them together that God deliver them. God, give them what you want. Bring them to you. So, because we're all going through these at right. different layers, different levels. No one has it worse than anybody else. We're all going through these trials and tribulations. Okay. You ready? Okay. <laughs> now, in saying that, now, we just went through all of so. See how see it, breaking it down like that. It takes time, but it's important because we get to understand a bigger picture of God and how He's going to bring us through this. Whew. Hi, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't want to hit pause, but I got to tell you, my little doggy that's right at my feet, she has gas, and oh, whoa, my eyes are burning, Lori. <laughs> oh my God! <coughs> Sorry. Hold on, I'm gonna hit pause. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> we're back now. Listen. I'm, I'm going to tell, I was going to tell you what happened. She has some kind of crazy gas that... Not me, the dog. Uh, the ga that Laura, 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 what's her name? Mm -hmm. Lucy Lou. <laughs> and so the, the paint's coming off the walls. So I said, God, 
Is there anything we can learn from this? Can we see Christ in this? And I believe the Holy Spirit said, yes, all the things that you went over right now, all the afflictions, the necessities, the stress, the stripes, the punishment, the tumult, labors, watches, fasts, are all stinky. They're stinky, stinky, stinky. They're horribly stinky. And we need a way to remove the smell so that we can take in Christ, okay? I'm being serious. So now, we're, this is where we're going. I mentioned it before, but in, in this area right here, if we can remember right here, if we can get the revelation, that the life that we are now living here on planet Earth, okay, mm -hmm. is literally a training ground. It is a testing ground. And we grow, we go through these things. The Bible says we go through these things in much patience, patiently enduring, okay? Mm -hmm. Because why? We are his ministers. We are his ambassadors, his servants. And we are having ecclesia with one another. We are doing the one another's. So because we have these things, we're going to be able to get through all these stinky things, okay? So it's a test so that we can become to know our creator, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're saying it like that. Now, here comes the giant butt. These things are going to have these nine areas will take place but here's the but here's god's answer verse six i'm just going to read it verse six by pureness by knowledge by long suffering by kindness by the holy ghost or holy spirit by love unfeigned by the word of truth by the power of god by the armor of righteousness on the left hand and on the right or the right hand and on the left we're covered all over now Look, what I gotta break this. This is so cool. <laughs> there are. Let's count them to make sure I'm I'm correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these nine from God trump the nine stinky things. Right. Not only that, God shows all Himself right here. Watch this. He shows his fruit right here. He shows his gifts right here. Mm -hmm. He shows how mm -hmm. it's done right here. He shows the absolute word of God right here. He shows the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit that works through us and the armor of God, his righteousness that beams through us, that never has to be taken off, that is on at all times. Okay? So, all that he is. So, what am I saying? The fruit of the Spirit. There are nine fruits of the Spirit. Okay? One of them, if I remember correctly, is patience. <laughs> and we don't have to get scared because here's what it is. Those nine fruit <coughs> are the Holy Spirit, Christ Jesus, and he, mm -hmm. he lives. Those fruit come through us according to his will. Mm -hmm. So Christ, remember, we're just the, we're the vessel. He's the, uh, he is the vine. We're the branches. Yeah. He's the fruit. He's all, he works through us. We work, that's how we work together. So all the fruit. It says there, there are seven spirits of God. Well, yeah, in Revelation, absolutely. Again, seven, God's number perfects perfection. Right, absolutely. Yeah. The, the seven speaks to God. The, the nine that were here are the nine fruits of the Spirit. Right. Now mm -hmm. we're moving on to the gifts of the Spirit. And there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there are three layers, three levels, three different sections of gifts, and we're not going to go into it right now, but they are amazing, and we'll do a teaching on that, because that's just awesome. So all the gifts of the Holy Spirit move through us according to God's will. All of them, not some, all of them according to His will, what is needed at that time when we are ministering, we were, when we are being ambassadors for Jesus Christ, whatever is needed at that moment, He'll give us the right words, mm -hmm. He'll give us the right gifts, He'll give us the right fruit, so that He can draw those people to Himself. Mm -hmm. And they will be set free, saved, delivered, and healed. And that's how it works. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. So that's all God when we just say yes. Go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. That's co-laboring. It's just us saying yes. He says, hey, why don't you do this? And we say, yes. yes. And then all of a sudden, wham! And we're like, what? You can use our donkey people like us? Yes. But it's our choice. It's our choice. Okay, now. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ says, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. When I go, I'm going to send you the comforter, the parocletus. Woo! The power, the power, the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit. In fact, oh, as I'll say now, 
I was reading this back. Okay, when we were studying for doing stuff over Christmas, okay, and they were talking about. I was reading about um, um, when Almighty God came to Mary, and He says, I "I'm going to overshadow you with the Holy Spirit, and I will put my seed." In you my light is going to be birthed in you Mary and then I started reading Acts when Jesus Christ saying yo dudes I'll be out but I'm coming back but in, in that in between time I'm sending you the Holy Spirit he will same exact thing God will overshadow us his dunamis power is going to be exploding through us that's the book of Acts go read it. it's beautiful mm. that's this right here the power of God this is no small thing guys no. I hope you're getting this <laughs> That's why I love, I would love lives. That's why I would love, if you guys could just come here, sit in our home, sit in our living room. You guys, it's so fun. God is so fun. He's so amazing. And when you do it with someone else like that, one of the, it, God shows up and it's beautiful. That's what this is. Now, our armor, we all know all the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, all that shield of faith and the sword of spirit, uh, you know, all that. It's all here. So what God is saying, all of it is available for us in Christ Always, all the time. That's why he says, be cheerful, be awake, alert, and watching. Be in much, and you know, patiently enduring. Okay? You are ministers, ambassadors. It's all there. You see it? Okay, I hope you see it. Now we're going to finish this verse by right here. Because he says, in all things. So no matter what the situation, I will turn all bad. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm going to make it all work out for me, Jesus Christ says. And I'm going to use you. So in honor, dishonor, in evil report, or good report, deceivers, yet true, unknown. We were nobody dingleberries. We are Twinkies in a ding-dong world. We're nobodies, okay? <laughs> we are unknown, yet well known. By who? By Almighty God. As dying, woohoo, yes, yet we live the life of God, the Zoe. Okay, chastise. Uh oh, what? Oh, look at those guys, they're not living right, so they're getting punished, Petey and Lord. They're getting punished because they're not living right. What? No, we're not killed. We're alive. We're not killed. We're not doing That's anything what the wrong. Enemy's been exactly, telling us. exactly. Look, you guys aren't living for God. If you're doing right, you wouldn't be going through things. The Bible says, because we are living for Christ, we will go through these things, and it's okay because he has us. Yeah. There you go. As sorrowful, yep, but always rejoicing. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Remember that last video? We were rejoicing all over the place, and we're still rejoicing, and it's not fake. Yes, we cry. Yes, we scream and yell and top of our lungs and want to hit things and all that. Yes, we're real. At the end of the day, God says, it's okay. And then he shows us himself, and his love invades us. And we begin to praise. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. We're, look at that. Poor. <laughs> yeah, poor. <laughs> also, just so you guys know, like, we have um, if you what? need to cry, yeah. cry it out. Yes. Cry it out. Cry it out. Go ahead. If you yeah. need to scream. 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 Seriously. I, I, th you're real. We need to be real before God. Like, God, this is getting really hard. Help right, us. We right, need your help. Right. Now, here, can I say this? Pour out your heart to him. Yes. Yes. And if you're finding out that maybe, maybe you want to pour out, you know, but you're like, but it's going to mess up my mask and I won't look perfect. Who are you trying to look perfect for? Who are you trying to present yourself to? God knows you inside and out. Throw the mask away. Show him like David does, the real you. Mm -hmm. Examine me. Do yeah. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and a right spirit yeah. within me. We praise God, and he'll do all this, right? Right? Yeah. Get rid of all the other stuff. You know, I want to stress one more thing Go ahead. that the Lord's been really showing me lately. Is that... Um, and we live in a state that, that glorifies oh, the body. Wow. Um, and what are you going to say? I just want to say that um, the enemy has worked so hard to get our focus on ourself. Right. To self-condemn. Individual. To, uh, if you're not working out every day, if you're not eating right every day, <laughs> and it's so consuming. Woo. I used to hate to go on a diet because it was all consuming, and, and the more that I focused on it, the more that it didn't work or right, it, right, right, it, right, just, right. it was just not satisfying. And it's almost like it's like a, a 
th th there's a, I came across a scripture one day and it said, you can work the body, but to work on your spirit with the Lord, it's you more, know, it's, it, you'll it's get more out of it, gra more gratifying, right, 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 or, right. you know, that, so, so that's not to put down, hey, if you're working out, eating right, sometimes great. Sometimes that's, but, that kind of image is constant around that's, us. There you go. And, um, I, I, I used to be there. Mm -hmm. I used to be so consumed with All my body. Us, we're and human. I never could get it the way that I it needed to be. You know, <laughs> constantly under pressure of having to have a perfectly clean house, to Ooh. have great kids, to have oh. you know these perfect jobs, and 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 the American the, dream is go. such a false. It's such a lie. Uh, lie. It's yeah. a lie. Just call it. It's a lie. But here are like, hearts. We. It's not about individual. Can I just say this? I, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. It's the American dream is about the individual. It's about more for me. I'm, in general, just just listen. Me, 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 me. Right. right. Me, 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 me. Where the word of God is the opposite. Yeah. It is the opposite. It's not about me, 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 me. Yeah. Just pay attention right. to the focus. There you go. On, <clears throat> like you'll see it. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> yes. like. Uh, the Golden Idols was on the other night. Oh, that's and right, 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 the, right. the, oh. the, wow. It's like, because I used to love, like before the Lord woke me up, right, right, right. I used to love the Watch the Academy Awards. We love movies. We, we, you know, we're just, we're in, I was into it, you know. I, I kind of grew up doing that. <laughs> What's that? That's a Dundee Award. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Anyway, and and <clears throat> I didn't watch it or anything like that this year, but you know you see uh, news reports or whatever. Right, right, right. But it, but anyway, it's just sort sort of. Um, I'm just so glad to be away from right. it. And it's empty. It's empty. It is empty. Unfulfilling. Right. And I, I see what you're saying. Where you know we tend to get our eyes focused on us again, and the media entertainment, the, the beast system wants to make sure that the individual is always you know. Think Wally, you know, the movie Wally. I mean, everybody click thing. We all wear in red, then we all wear in blue, and then we're all okay. Look up, look. Our Avenger comes. Yes. Get our eyes focused on him, not yes. all this crazy garbage that's going on constantly. Because yes, it because bombards enemy, us. Yes, he right. wants you to be focused on yourself. Right, right, and away from Christ. Do whatever you want to do, but just don't look at Christ. Jesus Christ saying it's all about me, baby, and so that's what we're going to do. It's all about Jesus. So even though right now we are, to say, physically poor, we are making many rich. Now here's how I interpret that right now. We are delivery. <coughs> We are waiters and we are just giving fresh bread. We are giving the riches of God and letting you guys feast with us on Christ yeah. Jesus. That's one way we can make others rich. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, having nothing, absolutely, but possessing all things, we have Christ, so we have all things. Mm -hmm. All right? We good? I didn't want to just yeah. run through that, but we, we got to get through that. Yeah. Hopefully that all makes sense. Folks on Jesus, there it is. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> we're almost done, but we still got some more. But we're almost done, but let's go on. Here we go. I'm not going to read this whole thing. You already know this. Because of my OCD spiritually, I refuse to read Habakkuk on the fourth verse. Oh, another one where I didn't want to read because I said, well, that's 2024. So I read it. Now, look at this. Though it linger, wait for it. Right? Patiently don't. Awake, alert, and watching. Aww. <laughs> Aww, patiently enduring. Ready to go. Okay, actively waiting. It will light upon you. You will be gathered. You will be carried into the kingdom of God. It will surely come to pass, we've learned. It will not delay. It will be on time. Now, verse 4, behold, now I'm going to skip that, the righteous shall live by faith. Now, yes, there is a hidden right here Hebrew word. Now, the scripture talks about, you know, like a, someone who's puffed up, lifted up, poor, you know, those guys are not right with God, mm -hmm. but the righteous shall live by faith. Well, again, hidden right in there is a word that means, behold, we're getting out of here. <laughs> so, again, in verse 24, I mean, verse 4, we're getting out of here, 2024, just saying, the righteous shall live by faith. We can only walk this out by faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Good? All right. We're almost done, guys, but look at it. I, I was looking at this the other day, and I, I could not believe it. In Timothy 24. I mean, what? 2 Timothy verse 4. Paul does another one. This is Paul basically saying goodbye at the end. He knows his time is done, right? He's saying goodbye pretty much in this. It's a beautiful, go read, Tim, it's just gorgeous, okay? But here's what Paul says. Watch this. I'm just going to read it. This is Paul. For I am now ready to be offered... 
I'm ready to be offered. It's like an offering, poured out, an offering, okay? And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, <laughs> there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give to me at that day, and not only to me, but all unto all them that love his appearing. Yes, and we love his appearing. We have crowns waiting for us. Okay, now listen to this. He ends it right here by the same thing Peter just said. Remember the last time when Peter was like giving his final statement and he was saying basically goodbye. I know I'm, I'm ready to go and basically the same goodbye. And he also says, his appearing. Look for his appearing. Look to Christ Jesus. He is coming. Before the last, his last thing, Paul and Peter, before they left, wanted us to know, look for the appearing of Jesus Christ because it's any moment he's coming. Okay? Yeah. I can't. Whew, I can't wait. We have fought the good fight as far as we know, and we're still, we're here, but we're moving on. Baby steps to the rapture. Yeah. He's coming. All right. Now, I just had to put this, let me take a quick drink. There's a lot of watchmen that have this now. I, got, I saw this on Repo Man 64. Shout out to you. So I put this. Guys, everybody, take a screenshot. Copy this. Print it out on a piece of paper. Leave it everywhere. Put it wherever you want. Put it. Download it. All this is, you can get your phone, you can click it, and it leads you to all kinds of great documentation on what just happened. <laughs> if you see me go, mm -hmm. here's what happened. Talks about the rapture. Talks about Jacob's yeah. troubles. All these things. Yeah. People are leaving like CDs or... Um, little flash drives. Flash drives to let people know. I have my hard drive. Right. And what they can do to, during the tribulation. and Yeah. Um, yeah. Or no, anything you want to do. Yeah. But this is just an easy way. Yeah. <laughs> Very easy way. Yeah. Because you can scan it with your phone even though I don't know how to scan. You take a picture with your phone. Your phone automatically does it. You have to do nothing. The eye crap is literally not do nothing. Android as well. Anyway, <laughs> go do it. It's fun. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Here's what we're going to do. This is all you right here. What did I just see out my window? You want to tell you a little story, but you, real quick? Um, yeah. So the day that uh, it was December 28th. It was one of the high watch days. And um, it was uh, uh, the day that the waves were really big in California and they oh, were hitting right, right, right. The, the shores and all this stuff. And I was out looking at the window because the clouds were crazy. And, um, put up? and I saw this. Now, this is not our picture. So. She saw this with Bree, and yeah. she and went and, and searched and, the and, internet. And, and what ahead. it was, it was, it was just in one spot. It wasn't moving. It wasn't going anywhere. I watched the planes all the time. We know the paths we and know, the patterns. We know what, this was not moving. And <laughs> it was crazy. I was like, I didn't want to leave the window. I didn't have my phone with me. So all I right. called my um, daughter-in-law, and I said, come here and look at this. Just to have a witness. So I could have a witness. Yeah, right. she saw it too. But... Because there was clouds coming, it started to disappear behind the clouds. Right. But I was like, it looked like it was on fire. Right. Like, it was brighter than that. You're right. There's a picture that it we was, found up. Somebody else seen it years ago. It something like it. It was a definite V shape. And I thought, and a light I wonder ball, if that's light. an angel. Right. I don't know. So we're just throwing it out there. I just threw that out. And so I actually Googled it to see if anybody else had seen anything, a V shaped object. I finally found this, and in the comments, this was on YouTube, and in the comments, people were saying that they were seeing it all over the world. And this was posted 14 years ago. 14 years ago, and Lori just saw something like this, lot like that, right out our window, in the December. Yeah. Right? Okay. I so was just like we had we had to share right. What? We had to share that, right? I've never seen anything like that. Right. And hey, guys, we're not. We're just saying, hey, here it is. We're throwing it out there for you. We're we're not saying what it is, but it's it was, definitely it odd. It was fire looking. It yes. looked like it was on fire. Bright on fire. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Anything else on that one? Okay. And it wasn't moving, so it wasn't right. falling. Right. That's I right. thought because at first I thought, oh, is that a, a meteor or something? Falling like star that? or anything. Yeah, but yeah. no. In Very the strange. middle of the day. Very strange, unusual things up in the sky. Pretty cool. It should be pretty I think cool. it's an angel. Pretty cool. I'm sticking to it. I think it's an angel. Here we go. What's next? Okay. Now, in 2023, do you remember we had these? We did videos on these. Okay. We had... Other occurrences. Pure, white, and spotless in 2023. These are two... 
uh, so uh, white but pure white buffalo and a spotless giraffe were both born in 2023 extremely rare occurrences and uh, I'm not gonna go on we could we did videos on this but my point is and and then to top it off at the very end on Christmas Christmas Eve Christmas. on Christmas Eve there was a white rhino what a rare white rhino was born on Christmas Eve so all of that was 2023 and we uh, what could there be a prophetic picture in this and I think yes the Holy Spirit got his bride the bride ready to make her pure spotless without wrinkle ready to go so that we can be harpazoed at any moment that's right that's what this prophetic picture is telling yeah. me just like esther was there. prepared oh, for a year there you go go ahead that's beautiful i love the that king. all right i love that <laughs> okay now we got because that's a very positive let's but we got to talk about this we got to pray for our brothers and sisters Pray for the brothers and sisters around the world, all the people who are in Christ Jesus. Now, I'm going to put up this little, this little uh, picture because these are the, well, I'll just do it. In 2023, the 10 worst countries, when I say worst, these countries are murdering, going out and finding Christians, murdering them, burning down their properties. I'm not going to say all the, they are doing horrendous things to the ecclesia, the church, the body of Christ. Please, please, please pray for these people. Mm -hmm. These are your brothers and sisters. And, and, and some of us go, you know, uh, I'm going I'm to say it like this. Because I've heard other people say, well, it can't be the time to the end because we're not really going through those kinds of things. America is a very tiny, small part of the Christian faith mm -hmm. around the world. Okay, in general, these guys, the churches had to go <laughs> underground. They went to the ecclesia format where they're meeting yeah. in homes and undergrounds. Yeah. Nigeria, I just go anyway, go look at your research, pray for the brothers and sisters. I just, I don't want to be negative, negative, but please, I don't even want to really say the names of all these except for Azerbaijan because I love the way that, <laughs> that name, but all of these countries, guys, it's happening real right now. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your Holy Spirit, we speak shalom. We speak comfort. We speak protection. We speak that you would even hide the brothers and sisters from the enemy. Hide yes. them from the enemy. Yes. Lord God, and come and deliver and take out. Reveal yourself to all of them so that we can turn to you and yes. be in yes. the Lamb's book of life. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We speak blessings. Okay. Whew, we are right here. We're right. We're at the end. So again, just, just showing you this is the only way that if you want to donate to this ministry, that's the only way you can do it. Thank you for doing that yes. to all of you. <clears throat> all of creation is acting strange. Do you want to say anything? Because you were mentioning some things about all of creation, we, like yeah. the animals, the birds, the, those fish that were coming, those worms, and the all of a sudden showed up in the that huge creek in the Australia that are like like centipedes that are actually worms that swim around the fish. Guys, there are so many things that are weird, weird and wild Yeah, I saw stuff. a video of a guy in Colorado saying that the grasshoppers are out and about in the middle of winter. <laughs> right, right. Which is highly um, unusual. And, and like those turtles, um, the, the big massive turtles that should be hibernating right now, that for some reason are still wide awake. Wandering around in the cold. In the freezing cold, they don't, they're not hibernating. So all of these things, we have all this stuff going on right now. So whatever triggers them... Right, um, to do that. In their, whatever, in their... Their, their, their clock, their, that's inside them to hibernate, to do clock, those things. Yeah. It must have stopped, or must be off, or God shifted it. Something's happening. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> but Unless... What, what, what? The Lord is coming. Oh, there you go. And they're like, I just want to stay up a little longer because I'm watching. And I know he's coming. I'm just going to watch. <laughs> it could be that. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Look at this. Here we go. Warfare prayer and Lori, if she can get through without co be coughing, is going to try to say some things. Um, so, um, warfare prayer. Jezebel. Yeah. How do you want to say this? Um, okay, so a couple months back, the Lord um, was showing me that we needed, that Pete and I needed to get together and pray against the spirit of Jezebel. Right. And it, and and it, and it was specifically a person that was named. Right. As you all know, a big name person. <clears throat> I'll just say the um, initials H C. There you go. And so Jezebel Spirit. I all of a sudden I had gotten this thing like, you know, 
we haven't heard about anything. I feel like we that, prayed that, against it. that spirit was brought down. Right. But well, we then the Lord that? showed me that it has been transferred over to somebody else. Ooh, a very, very, very uh, high celeb. Who has gone worldwide tour mm -hmm. and has um, cast... She is a witch, and she has cast spells on audiences and America and around the world when she's allowed to. I'm, I'm being, I'm going to be very, I'm not going to say a name because we'll get a strike. And you know Go how ahead. we've been talking about um, NFL, they're, right. they're going right. to have this thing and, and the, the halftime show they're is gonna, put on by Usher, gonna, who may be ushering in something. <laughs> and um, also who has been the face of NFL this year. Right, it right. hasn't been any of the players. It hasn't been. Just saying. It was this female so in the stands. So I'm just throwing these thoughts out there, and these are things that we need to pray against because yep. I feel like that there's a big yes. facade and going on. She's an enchantress, and it's a Jezebel thing that wants to silence the voice of God. That's what it does. Yes. And so we can together pray against it, bind it, command it to bow down and get cast out. In the name of Jesus, together we the come against the spirit. The spirit. We are not talking humans. The spirits mm -hmm. have to use humans. Mm -hmm. So, and, and the we, human will cooperate, right? As a as God's avengers. Yes, God's avengers can do that In through mighty. the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, our weapons are not made by human hands, right. but they are mighty and right. powerful for the calling down of strongholds. We're uh, destroying the enemy. Right, right. So that's one yes. thing I really feel like that we need to focus on as this uh, Super Bowl comes up. True. Yeah. Another thing is um, um, we need to also pray that our land here mm. in America, it does not get cursed. There you go. We pray that we do not get cursed at least until we go. Reverse the curse till we go. of the, the uh, decisions that oh. our leadership is making, for instance, against God's people um, yeah. can bring a curse on yeah. us. It's crazy here in Cali. Right. But uh, nationwide, the one that's supposed to be in charge, he did sign things into curses. And so we're reversing those curses <clears throat> while we're here. Right. To protect our people. I'm telling you. That way you can pray like this and it's powerful. When you do it, please join us in doing that kind of warfare prayer. Yeah. It is yeah. it's fun. It's I fun. used to have a ministry. The Lord showed me to have a ministry called Women of Warfare. It was called Wow. <laughs> wow. Which I really feel like he's like, you know, kind of like, let's, you know, get back into that. Sure. Um, but anyway. Okay. You good? Yeah. Warfare prayer. So let's warfare prayer. And you guys you know, yeah. join us in these things and please do. Yeah, please do. Cause it's awesome. Yeah. Because we're strategically placed. There you go. That's what I wanted to say. We are all strategically placed, and we have because we are where we are. We have the authority. There you go. In those re in those our regions. sphere of influence. Our God puts us in a sphere of influence for prayers for people. All those things, but mm -hmm. He will display Himself through you, through us, where you are. Right. Yes. So where you are located, you have authority. You have authority over that area. Yes. Because yes. God says so. Yeah. <laughs> Who told you? God said. Oh, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. We're almost done. We're almost out of here. Be the ecclesia. This is really what we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. The whole message that today has been be the ecclesia. Be the ecclesia. Remember the ecclesia, the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, mm -hmm. the <clears throat> tribe of Christ, the mm -hmm. temple of Christ. We are the people. Mm -hmm. He's the head. We're the, it's beautiful. So that's how you can do it. And we're going to do more of this while we're here. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. So did you want to say anything else? Because this is our last slide. We're done. We are done. Anything else? I mean, we've got to say that. But then we're, anything else you want to share? What do you announce? Lovely people, thank you for donating to this ministry again. We can use it. Use our prayers. We pray for you. Pray for us. Yes. I think please. we covered everything. Yes. Okay. And... <laughs> hey, I hopefully we get to. You. Are you going to the next slide? Yeah, right there. Is that oh, right? I was going to say something. Uh, I, 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 but, but, okay, well, we had to do. I'm not going to go over everything because we do this in detail and it's all there in the screen. That's how you get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's all about Jesus Christ, the gospel, the love of God, mm -hmm. his death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and return. It is all there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Help us change our algorithm and share our videos. Yes. We yes. We're getting pounded. We're yeah. they're hiding our stuff. Please share. Not that it's just because we can get out there so that this teaching, the word of God can get out there yeah. to the people. That's mm -hmm. what we mean. 
Okay, that's it. You ready? Yeah. Oh gosh, we did it. We love you guys. We thank you so much for standing with us and praying yes. with us and supporting us in yes. this ministry. And it means the world. We it pray means that God so much. bless you all abundantly. Yes. Bless Keep you. your families safe. Keep you safe. Yes. In Jesus' name. Oh, we're gonna see you in the clouds. See you in the clouds. Love soon and them. very soon. Grab someone. Be kind. Rewind. Do all the one another's. And we're gone. You ready? Yeah. We are done. Adios, guys. Bye, guys. Love you.